Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Inks Comparison video and this is Lamy Inks Comparison number three. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. So the first ink is Lamy Bronze. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is actually a different color than I thought it would be. I actually thought this would be more of a bronze color, uh, not, I'd say this is more of an orange color, but, so we'll do a second pass over the top layer, just so you can see the difference there between a wet and dry nib. So the ink here is Lamy Bronze. But I have to say though, that, that so far, looks a nice orange ink. The next ink I have a sample of here is Lamy Tourmaline. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a little bit sort of a, maybe a turquoisey tealy color. Maybe a little bit like a Diamine Aqua Lagoon, I would say. We'll do a second pass over the top so you can see what it looks like in a wet versus a dry nib. So this is Lamy, and it's tourmaline. The next ink is Lamy Petrol. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is a very dark, I would say teal, almost a teal black. And we'll just do a second pass over the top there. So this is Lamy Petrol. The next ink is Lamy Azerite. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I would say that this is quite a thick ink, a viscous ink. So that means it's going to be a sheening ink, most likely. So this is Lamy, and it's Azerite. which for me is actually looking like a nice sort of purple color. And then the last ink isn't technically a Lamy ink. Uh, I don't have La Lamy Dark Lilac, but this is a faux or false version. So this is one that you can get the recipe for on the internet. And if I remember, I'll put it in the description of this video. So we'll do an ink swatch. We'll do a second pass just to see if we get any sheening. And this is faux Lamy and it's dark lilac so if you do like dark lilac i from what i understand this is a very close uh, version of it maybe not identical but it's fairly close and seeing that you can't get that ink anymore if you don't have any ink then this will be the next best thing so let's take a look at these inks now that they have dried so the first ink here is Lamy Bronze, and you can see the difference between the wet and the dry. Uh, I would almost say that this is a orange ink, and um, just looking here, there is a lot of shading going on. Uh, there isn't any sheening though, so um, it's not, I would have thought Lamy Bronze would have had bronze particulate in, maybe it does, but I'm not really seeing it there. 
unfortunately. Uh, the next ink we have is Alami Tourmaline or Tourmaline, and uh, you can see the difference between a wet and a dry nib there. Uh, you can uh, see that there is some shading going on, but again, this uh, isn't. Oh, actually, no, there is a little bit of sheen around these two corner edges here. You can probably just about see that on camera there. The next ink is Lamy Petrol. Now, I'm not really into dark teal colored inks, uh, but this is Lamy Petrol, and you have really not a lot of difference between a dark and a light version. Uh, but and there's a little bit of shading going on, but there is sheen, and there you can see that sheen there. So it's got quite a bit of sheen around the pulled areas of ink. The next ink is Alami Azerite, and uh, I wasn't expecting this actually. Um, this does actually have a lot of sheening on it. So this is a purple ink. And you can see there, like, it's difficult to tell the difference between a dark and uh, a wet and a, uh, a dry writing nib because it's so much sheen. So that is sheen, not shimmer. It's actual sheen. But that is a lot of sheen. And then the last ink is technically not a Lamy ink. It's faux Lamy dark lilac. Uh, this is an ink that is very difficult to get hold of and if you want to get hold of it it's expensive so this is uh, a formulation that people came up with on the internet other fountain pen friends and uh, they came up with this formula that is apparently fairly close to Lamy Dark Lilac I've never owned Lamy Dark Lilac so I cannot confirm or deny but you'll see here that there is a bit of a difference between what would be a wet and a dry writing nib um, you will see, though, it has a lot of sheen going on there. So there is a lot of gold sheen. Uh, and you can even pick it up in the writing sample there as well. So that is actually quite a nice uh, looking ink, even though it's not uh, the real Lamy Dark Lilac. So this is my Lamy ink comparison video number three. If you like any of these inks, let me know in the comments below. If there are any other Lamy inks that you would like to see, then also let me know in the comments below. So that's my Lamy inks comparison video number three. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.